so after having seen place active line terminator the option with which we created these two cells this one and this one on this line let us now go for the next option which is called replace cells fit view right click to come out of it and now you can see you have the replace cells option over here click on this there are two methods over here one is update and the next one is replace when you have update option enabled select this and when you click on any of these cells click on this cell and left click what happens is the cell which you have placed over here gets replaced from a new cell which is imported from the library if at all you want to replace the existing cell with a new cell from the library if at all this has got modified or a particular portion got deleted or for any reason if you want to replace this or refresh the cell you can go with the update option update option basically replaces the existing cell with a new cell of the same format from the library that is what is update the next one is replace option click on replace and now you have the option to replace one cell with another select this cell over here and then it will ask you to identify replacement cell I'm going to select the star and then left click you can see the previously bold cell which was present over here got replaced with the star cell in this way you can replace one cell with another the method is suppose you have this moon over here I'm going to choose this option replace cells and the method has to be chosen as replace you cannot go with update you need to select replace then click on the moon after which you will be identifying the replacement cell let me choose this star and the star is going to be placed over here the starting point or the top point of the star is going to be placed over here left click in this way the insertion depends upon that is the replacement the positioning of the replaced cell depends upon the insertion points that is the cell origin of the first element and the second element if you remember for the moon we had this point as the cell origin and for the star we had this point as the cell origin so the star which is now going to be placed over here the two cell origins are coincided that is the top vertex of the star and the bottom corner of the moon are going to be coincided and then replaced that is the option called replace now apart from that you can even go with either single option or global that is go again with fit view right click right now I am going to replace this bold all right instead of mode single I'm going to go with global replace this bold sorry the nut with say the star and then go with left click when you do that it will ask you it will give you an alert you are in global replacement mode 13 cells will be replaced are you sure that is all the cells belonging to this one that is all the nuts are going to be replaced with stars that is the global mode go with yes and now you won't find any nuts over here you will be only finding stars that is how you can go with the global replacement mode All right. similarly you can if suppose that particular cell which you want to replace is not existing in the drawing you have it created in the library but it is not present in the drawing then you can choose this option use active cell let us select this click on this and browse it from here right now since I had closed microstation and then open it again the cell library is now not being displayed in order to see the cell library which we had created in the previous session you will go with file click on attach and you want to attach the mechanical cell library this is the path if in case you do not find the cell library over here you need to remember the path wherein you had stored it browse to that path from here and select the required cell library I want mechanical cell library go with ok and now you can see all the three cell library cells present in the cell library 
right so in this way if at all a particular cell is not present in the drawing and still you want to replace it then you can go with use active cell option browse for it and get it from here similarly if you have attributes associated to the cell attributes we have already seen these attributes associated to the cell you can even go with the replace attributes option for that particular cell so in this way you will be using your replace cells option so now after having completed the cells toolbar let us now come back to the patterns toolbar we had stopped it over here at the cross hatch area option and the next option is pattern area let me select everything and delete it first Two hundred. Enter. Three hundred. Now the option pattern area, as I said earlier, is used to replace or to introduce cells in the form of hatches. It is just going to create a array of those cells. I can go with this option and select any of these cells. So I'll select the nut. Go with, click on the pattern option. If I on the nut, if I double click, I'll be again entering the place active cell option. That is this option over here. You had the first option, place active cell. If you double click on any of these objects, you will be able to insert it over here. But if you want to use this option, sorry, this option pattern area, then you need to click on this. Select that particular cell and go with pattern. Click on pattern, and now the nut has been placed over here. This nut is present over here. Close this. Next, you need to provide the scale or the row spacing and the column spacing. Uh, let row spacing be 30, and column spacing be some 50. Right. and the method is element the same method which we had seen earlier element intersection union etc now select the element option and click on this element then left click outside and you can see it is filled with that particular cell depending upon the row spacing and column spacing over here unlike the array option it will not ask us for the number of rows and number of columns the number of rows and columns are decided upon uh, our element size based upon the element size it is going to fill the entire element to accommodate the cell based on the row spacing and column spacing okay this is about your pattern area option i will create another circle over here in this way next i go with pattern area element option and instead of nut let us place the star over here in this way row column spacing we have given over here we can even provide an angle say around 30 degrees enter now i'm going to left click over here and again left click in order to fill it with that particular object let me delete this again if you want to delete it you will be choosing this option and deleting it i'll go with this and this time i'm going to use a scale of 3 select it and left click in this way you can create the pattern okay now over here again i'll create a next the next option over here is linear pattern which is used to create cells that is in order to provide cells on linear elements suppose you have a line like this in this way then you can use the linear elements option and create the elements on this so i'll go with this and left click in this way you can see the elements are created so the cells are placed on the element that is the linear elements option linear patterns option I'll stop the session over here let us resume in the next session